approval. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to remind the board that uh, of our public hearings on, on our budget. Uh, the first one is September the 13th. That's on a Thursday night, and it's at 5:30 p.m. here in the boardroom. Then the final hearing will be on Monday, September the 24th at 5:30. And these dates are based on the trim that we have to go by. That's the reason why we couldn't set these dates any other time. Okay. That's awesome. That's it. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, board members. This is the uh, FDOT Scott program. Road selected 227, Kyrie 227 from 301 to uh, where 18 turns. Resolution of the Board of County Commissioners of Bradford County, Florida, approving execution of the Small County Outreach Program Agreement with the State of Florida Department of Transportation for the widening and resurfacing of Southwest County Road 227 from Southwest County Road 18 to Southwest State Road 200, providing directional staff and providing an effective date. In 
in, in your packet you may read that's 218 and some other things. Uh, I'll just ask you to ignore those. It's, it is 18, county route 18. I'll make the motion to approve the resolution of read. Are, are the uh, are most of the dump trucks done running that route now? I would say most of them are. Yeah. Okay. Because that's yeah. kind of I think that hill would be closed. That, that's what I was wondering. I hadn't seen many trucks I've running. Seen you in a while, yeah. Know. There was just a few trucks uh, about a month ago. Okay. Not not enough to get concerned about. So okay. right. I, th I think it's a safe state and say most of them. When when would this new truck start? We have until the end of next year, almost the end of next year, to have the plans done. It. And I'm glad you mentioned that because it will require a, a good survey. You know, we've got uh, a bad S curve that road. I wish we could have done something about that. And uh, the drainage along that road, not to mention the cross pipes. Purchased a fire truck from Hillsborough County, a 2000 E1 Typhoon model Class A pumper. Um, when we purchased it, it had 121,000 miles on it. We used it up until here recently, where the engine had a catastrophic failure. Specifically, the number one cylinder overheated and dropped valves on top of the piston and welded the, the valves of the piston. What's important to know about that is that the at the time of its failure, it had 9,900 hours on. So getting with E1 and you put a number to the hours of 45 miles per hour, that engine had 445,500 miles on. It's a great truck. The fire body's in good good shape. The pump's in good shape. The truck interior's in good shape. Uh, we recently uh, converted it all over to LED, which significantly helped the charging system of the truck. The truck doesn't have a lot of computers on it, and it doesn't have a depth system, the, the uh, environmental control systems for the exhaust. We have the master EBT for the city of Gainesville come over and look at uh, the truck in its dismantled state at Florida Tractor. He agrees to the repair. He, uh, he advises us to go ahead and repair the truck because we will not be able to find a truck of that quality Anywhere in, in Florida, if we buy a new truck, we'll be uh, we'll be spending this kind of money um, on considerable. Yeah. What year? I, I would like to repair the truck. We have the money. What year? Oh, I'm sorry. It's a 2000. To replace the truck, um, again, we'll be looking for a used piece of equipment. I don't think we're going to be able to find a 2000 model E1 Typhoon. E1 is, is the fire truck manufacturer in Ocala. It's relatively close, so we don't have to go far, far for parts. Um, and with the increasing newer trucks, we're getting more into the death problem and we're getting into electronics. And, and Mr. Bell, you probably might. One reason that we wanted to. Uh, Clearly, put this uh, to put this on the agenda, even if it was with the, uh, within the uh, range that we could prove. It just seemed to me that we were the board was making a lot of decisions that that sort of went together. In other words, the fire assessment, uh, this cost, uh, chief wears uh, uh, employment by the uh, temporary agency. Uh, all of that is uh, is really dependent upon the the county pursuing the our business, so to speak. So that's the reason we put it on. It's, it's that you all have taken uh, the other steps so far. So uh, we, we want to put this one in the mix. It is, if we're going to stay in the fire business, I would think, Chief, you would uh, consider it a necessity. Absolutely. Uh, for repairs to uh, the fire 
fire engines, nine, an amount of $19,615.30. Um, what is this price? No, it's a rebuild, in frame rebuild. So and the master EBT from Gainesville came over and looked at it. We had Stuart, our EBT, looked at it. And uh, when they're done rebuilding the engine, they'll have a warranty to it. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, items D through L are presentations made by organizations uh, previously, and at this time we're just asking direction from the board on if you would like to fund those budget requests that have been made. So the first item, item D, is um, a request, or rather seeking direction from the board if you desire to fund the budget request made by the Florida Department of Health in the amount of $10,000 for mental health services. They made their budget presentation on July 19th. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Uh, Item E, does the board desire to fund the budget presentation made by concerned citizens of Bradford County in the amount of $10,000? This is an increase of $634. Uh, since fiscal year 12-13, the board has contributed $9,366 to concerned citizens, and this is for operating expenses. They made their budget presentation on August 6th. Item F, does the board desire to fund a budget request for fiscal year 1819 made by the North Florida Regional Chamber of Commerce in the amount of $12,000, $12,500 for services and promotion to small businesses and the community? Um, a budget presentation was made on August 6th. Scenes, and I was not present for that meeting, nor was I present for the meeting before, so I just voted for that, but not being here and not hearing the request in, in moving forward with some of these other items. Is that something that, that I should just not vote on? I'm asking our attorney that question. No, sir, it's okay. okay. If you, the decision is yours as to whether or not you think that the Okay. should fund the request. You're not obligated to be at the meeting. Okay. Next year. Well, I'll second the motion. Okay. I, I know you second the motion. So, would this be an increase thing? Yes. Or this is the same amount you've been getting all the time? Since I've been there. Okay. That's all we hear. Okay. Since I've been there, you are not going Does the board desire to fund in fiscal year 1819 budget a request made by fiscal children's services in the amount of $5,000 to 
sustainable <coughs> for the one the budget year that we're currently in for child care programs for low-income parents. A budget presentation was made August 6th. 